use AI to turn a document into a presentation? Is it possible? I'm gonna show you how today. Stick around for this tip. So today we're gonna to talk to you about using AI to transform a standard outline or a document into a presentation deck using artificial intelligence. The tool we're specifically gonna talk about today is from Canva. It's currently available in their free tier, but it's something that they look like they're moving into their paid tier eventually, but we want you to experiment with it to check out what AI is possible of doing. I'm gonna show you a couple of AI steps in between that are gonna help you accomplish this as well. So first off, let's talk about that feature, the Canva docs to deck feature. So I'm gonna do a screen share and you're probably gonna lose my face, but that's okay. And this is what that feature looks like. So what this is called is this is the transform function or magic switch. And this allows you to go from documents to decks or documents to websites and vice versa. You can take a, de a deck presentation and turn it into a document. It's a really awesome feature within Canva. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about how we're gonna use a couple of other tools to get to that process. So first off is brainstorming an idea for your presentation. So I've talked about this tool maybe to a few of you in the past, or if you the first time you're seeing one of my videos, uh, there's this amazing tool called Consensus. So Consensus is this amazing AI tool that's online and free to use, which allows you to use search to find academically proven uh, answers uh, using published work. And so that has just your normal answer field and it allows you to do just a search for things that you may want to have some academically uh, rigorous backing behind. So for example, let's say you want to ask a question like, oh, what are the number one ways that you can convince a consumer to buy a product? Or what are the different beliefs that a certain group has around uh, their political leanings, for example. Uh, or you can go much more broad strokes like I did for my example. I did, what are the best practices for doing a creative brainstorm? So I just write that in the search here. And then I had two options turned on, which you're about to see, which is the first is synthesize. And what this does is it reads several papers from these academic journals and it provides a summary uh, in kind of like a bulleted list form to that answer. And the next is copilot which also generates extra content for you. And, I, and both of these take up some of your AI credits. You get about 20 per month for free. So I just wrote out that question, which is best practices for creative brainstorming and marketing. And I got this quick little summary after it analyzed four papers. These studies suggested the best practice for creative brainstorming, including yada yada. If it was a yes or no question, it would give me kind of like a consensus meter which is kind of like their patented thing that shows me if it was yes or no to that problem. And then here's my co-pilot, which is the introduction to the issue, the key insights behind that, and then the conclusion. So for example, you know, you want for a creative brainstorm for it to be short and focused. You want it to be around a specific answer. And, and this is really great. So why did we use consensus to get to this kind of outline to the question that we had about like, oh, can uh what are the best practices for creative brainstorming in this example it's because we needed this kind of like outline format and this is really great because this is the start this outline here is the start to the presentation we want to make so if you already had an outline and you didn't need this created uh, you could have skipped this portion but i wanted to show you a really awesome way to get started on a deck presentation using an interesting source like consensus which kind of gives you some some academic backing or rigor to research rigor to what you might be working on. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that information, this little outline and bring it over to our, our tool, uh, to, to Canva. But first here's something interesting. So this is really cool, but it may not be perfectly spaced for what we need in Canva. And I'll give you an example. So in Canva, the way that this is going to work is we're going to be working in this document format before we bring it into a deck. And the way that the magic switch function here works at the very top, uh, convert to presentation, it works by using these head, head, uh, heading tags, the H1 and the H2 and the body tags. Uh, and so it, it needs to have that formatting. And the reason why is because it takes our heading one or heading tags, 
and it turns those into new slide breakers, like a new section. It takes the H2 tags and it turns those into the titles of slides, and it takes the body copy underneath each one of those and it turns that into the body text. Uh, and you'll, that'll all make sense in a second for you. And so if I don't have that formatting correct, it, the magic switch function that takes this document that we have here, our outline, and turns it into a presentation, it's not gonna work very well. So how do we make it so that we have amazing formatting each time? I have a tool for you. I've created this amazing Canva docs to decks GPT. And what it does, it's a little GPT that you'll have access to and anyone can find it. It's public on the uh, app store I created it. It just takes your outline or idea or whatever you have access to and it generates for you a perfectly outlined and uh, H1, H2 and body tagged document creates that for you. So that way that you can bring it into docs to decks and it's trained on a couple of things as well. It's trained on an example of one of these that I've done. And then also just some like best practices for creating great presentations. And so what you'll do is you'll take your outline that you already have, maybe a presentation document you're already working on. Oh, or in our case, we're going to copy and paste this, which is just this kind of like awesome summary of best practices for brainstorming. And we're going to pop it into this chat GPT instance. Uh, this G in, in this on the left hand side will be hidden for you when you're using it. And we're just going to ask it to, for our, our purposes, to turn it into this document and it'll know what it's doing when you're using this GPT. And here it is. So it's taken and synthesized all that information and it's created this. So here's creative brainstorming and marketing. This is the title slide. So this will be the first slide of your presentation. Then here's our first tag introduction. Here's the body copy that'll be on that slide. Key insights. There's an H1. Here's an H2. Emphasize quality over quantity. Here's the body copy that'll be attributed to that H2. You kind of get the idea. Each one of these chunks in our little outline here are going to become our slides when we use the tool. Uh, so it was a little short. It only gave me 10 slides. And so I asked it to expand upon this by using new research you find on the web to add more slides. And I asked it to include the sources. How does it do that? How does that work? So inside of this GPT is the, uh, this option called web browsing. And what that's going to do, it's going to go in out and search the web for more unique information. And it's going to use that to inform new sections inside of our document. So here are new sections. These are going to help us create, I think, around 24, 25 slides. And it's giving even little citations of where it pulled this information from. So now that we have this, this is really great research and information. This is awesome. But you know, maybe there's a section inside your presentation that you're working on here that you need to expand upon. So I think, for example, you know, integration of AI. I think that's really awesome. It's telling us we can use AI to help us brainstorm, but maybe I want to expand upon that section. So what I did is I actually said, this is great because you, but can you expand upon this integration of AI? And so it went out and searched more websites to get more information to combine that into even more bullet points. And I asked it to shorten it. And then I copied and pasted that into my final doc. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to really quickly do this on the fly. So we'll go back up to the top of our document here. We're going to copy this. And there is actually a copy button at the bottom here. You'll see that in a sec. When you're in your normal chat view, you'll have that. Then we're going to bring it over and bring it over into our document. So let's see how that's laid out. That's exactly what you're going to want to see. This is an H1 tag up here at the top. Then we've got our H2 and then the body copy attributing to it and on and on. And that's going to be super important for us because that's how we're going to make sure that what we're working on is formatted correctly when we bring it over into Canva. I'm going to just copy and paste this little add-on that it did about generative AI and brainstorming because I think this is really unique. I'm going to bring that over as well. So I'm going to take our integration in AI and just replace that with a bigger section. And the formatting might be a little bit off on that, but we're about to find out. So remember, all that we did in this case is we went to Canvas or we went to Consensus 
and we gave it an idea for a deck we wanted to create best practices in creative brainstorming and marketing. It gave us this interesting research that is peer reviewed and there's all sorts of amazing little filters that you can even do. For example, like if you want to filter by year when these studies were done or the types of methodologies that were used in the study. And we took that information and brought it into chat GPT, specifically this custom GPT, which allows us to edit out or allows us to create these document formats that we need with the H1, H2 and body copy. And then we brought that into Canvas, Canva Docs, and Canva Docs allows us to then take it and go into Magic Switch here, convert to presentation. So this is just going to use a couple of really quick templates that are already created. You could upload your own templates. Um, so I'm just going to select one of these templates really quickly. And as you can see, here's where the magic has happened. So here's our H1 tag or that headline tag from the top of our document. Here's H2 in the body text, H1, H2 in the body text, H2 in the body text. So you can see how it's working on the background. It's really quickly allowing you to go from an outline and turn it into a presentation. Is it perfect? No, but remember, again, we are doing this on the fly and this has been super easy to get us started. So I think right now we're working on 26 slides. We'll go ahead and click create my presentation for me. And I just want to show you one other feature. So, you know, maybe this isn't the most interesting of templates, but obviously it's something you could definitely play around with. Maybe we get to a section like computer aided brainstorming. We really think that'd be cool to have like an image. So I'm going to go in here really quickly to elements and I'm just going to type in something like a computer. And let's say, for example, I wanted to bring in this like interesting computer. Let's see if there's one that I can use for free. Or you know what? I actually have some images that I can pull up. So let's go ahead and pull up like just this like picture of Gemini as an example of computed aided imaging. Now, what I have here is like really cool. It's an image and text, but that's maybe not like the most inspiring outline. I can actually go in here to design and layouts. And it's going to give me a couple of options for layouts. This can be really cool, especially if you've already uploaded a couple of template options. You'll definitely get some help here. Um, but just another really cool feature of this, like I can move this over here and it's going to give me some other options where it's trying to put the text at the bottom of the image. So maybe I play around with this a little bit more. And again, in real time, it's just going to show me all those options of layouts. This one, not so much, not so interesting, but I promise you I've done this in the past and it gives you some really great results. So. You know, what we did today was really easy. We just went from an idea of a presentation we wanted to give about how people could better brainstorm. We then took it into ChatGPT and used a custom GPT to help us create this outline. We then took that outline and we brought it into a document inside of Canva. And that document allowed us to have it formatted correctly that we then could use the magic switch function and go convert it to a presentation. And here we were able to get a couple of amazing little previews of what these presentations might look like. And then from there, we were able to edit our presentation. Last step for you would obviously maybe be taking it out of Canva. And so from here, you could go to share and you could download it. And you have the couple of options. The one that's most, use most useful for Google users is going to be downloading it as a PowerPoint and then uploading it from PowerPoint from a PowerPoint file into Google Slides. So really fun way to take an idea, an outline you already have. You could even go in reverse and take your deck presentations, turn them into docs, and then use AI to augment them here. Um, but I wanted to show off a use case for AI to take you from an outline or a deck, a doc into a deck presentation. Uh, if you have any more ideas that you want me to work on and how AI can help you every day with your work, feel free to hit, up, hit me up and let me know. And I hope you have a wonderful day.